These are rare genetic conditions. In 2016, many called Dean Karnazes Superman. His strength was so superhuman, he was the subject of medical studies. Why? Because he could run 350 miles without stopping. That's the distance from Los Angeles to San Francisco. To run that far for that long is a superhuman feat. Nicole Marie Pinto is an exercise physiologist at the University of San Francisco Medical Center. She says as we exercise, lactate builds up, causing the body to cramp and tire. But not Dean. His body's genetics are such that he can continuously flush out lactates, allowing him to run unusually long distances. It's not about how fast I go, it's about how far I go. A regular marathon is 26.2 miles. That's child's play for Dean, who can run two marathons in one day. As you can see, he's hardly sweating when he crosses the finish line. For me, this is more like mile uh, 51. Dean Garnassus, the man, the man. I feel like I just got warmed up. We worked out the probability of maybe one in 500 trillion to see a set of triplets that looked like these three. Triplets Jackson, Hunter, and Caden Howard were born with a genetic disorder called craniosynostosis. It isn't unusual for newborns, but it's very uncommon in triplets. Doctors say their skulls fuse too early in the womb. Their brains can push their skulls into abnormal shapes as they grow. When you look from the top, he's got this almost almond or wedge-shaped head. That's now gone. Three months later, it's nice and round. In 2017, the triplets had minimally invasive surgery where doctors removed a strip of bone in their skulls. It was really extremely scary. We were freaking out. You know, and it was stressful. We were just getting used to having them. You know, these are our first children. Here they are today. And their heads look phenomenal. That was my main concern was whether or not their, it was going to cause some kind of brain damage or, you know, I was worried about Caden's eyesight, but it all turned out great. From 2021, young Lachlan Sample had a rare genetic condition called uncombable hair syndrome. Some people laugh at us when we tell them because they think we're just joking. It's so rare that only about 100 people from around the world have the condition. Here she goes! For kids like these, the hair is generally white or strawberry blonde, and many grow out of it at puberty. We absolutely love it. This story is from 2018. My name is Moe, I live in Hong Kong. Um, I'm 26 years old and I've got Harlequin ichthyosis. Moy Thomas was one of only hundreds in the world living with the disease. Harlequin ichthyosis is a very rare genetic skin disorder. Um, my skin multiplies 10 times faster than normal skin. Which means her skin sheds frequently and leaves her susceptible to infections. Her body also had a hard time adjusting to temperature. Either I could get very, very hot very quickly or very, very cold very quickly. So I've got no temperature control. When I wake up in the morning, I normally get into the shower. Um, I scrub off dead skin um, using um, like a scrubbing glove. So I do that, um, takes maybe 10, 20 minutes. Um, and then I put cream on. Moy says the most difficult aspect of living with the condition may be dealing with people's reactions to her appearance. It's coping with people's reactions, and that's always quite difficult. I try so hard to live a normal life as I possibly can, and when people do things like that, when they shout, scream, run away, it just makes me feel like I really stick out, and I really don't like that feeling. My mum and dad have always encouraged me to go out and do things. They have never let me sit around feeling sorry for myself. They've always encouraged me to go out and give me a go. And I think that's what's kind of pushed me forward in life. Are you ready? Let's go see Rodney. In 2017, Kevin and Angela Duffy traveled over 300 miles with their daughter Molly to meet her best friend. These children have a special bond. They have a genetic disease called spastic paraplegia type 47. Do you want to give Molly a bite of ice cream, Robbie? It's so rare that there are only 11 reported cases in the world. Yay! <laughs> it causes mobility problems and severe learning disabilities. Molly and Robbie are the only two confirmed cases in the U.S. The families found each other on a Facebook support page. One day we got a message from Casey saying my daughter has type 47 and we just we couldn't believe it um, and we haven't stopped talking since. 
Where did Molly go? It's a condition that looks like cerebral palsy. So the muscles become stiffer, very tight. And it gets more difficult to walk. And we don't have a cure for SPG 47. But in general, patients who have SPG, they have almost a normal lifespan. There's days where it's really, really hard. But Molly is so happy. She's, just, she's the light of our life. That there's no way we could ever stop fighting for her. We're not going to give up on our daughter. Absolutely not. If she wants to try skiing, she can't. I'll help her. <laughs> Sorry. If she wants to hike. She can't. I'll help her. I'll carry her. It's, that's what we'll do. I'm going to make sure she can do everything she can. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Andrea Swindle.